So what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be putting a hitch here on this Ford Taurus. Uh, you can use that hitch to do many things. Go out uh, bike riding, you can take your boat out, go fishing, camping, whatever you wanna do. So why don't we just get right into it? You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. This is gonna be the hitch that we're putting on our Ford Taurus. I'm just gonna point out our attachment points here. We have one here coming through the side. We have two here. And then on the driver's side, we have one, two, three, and four. All right, guys, since you've seen our hitch, uh, the first step is we're gonna to need to go ahead and prep the underbody of the car to accept our hitch. So our first step is we're gonna go ahead and lower our exhaust. Uh, to do that, we have two different attachment points. We have one right up here in the front, and then we have one down here in the center. All right, now that we've got our strap in place, we're gonna go ahead and use some soapy water. We're gonna use our exhaust plier removal tool and a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and drop the bolts for the exhaust hanger. All right, now that we've got this one dropped, we're gonna to move to the one in the center. Um, we're gonna be using a little bit of soapy water to help get it off and our exhaust plier removal tool. Let's do it. All right, now that we have the exhaust down, the next step is to, it says in the instructions, to remove the carbon canister on the passenger side if it's present. Uh, looking up here on the passenger side, we can see that it is not present, so we're just gonna go ahead and move to the next step. So our next step is we're gonna go ahead and start on the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and drop our carriage blocks using our fish wires into the appropriate holes, and we're gonna use our access hole, which is right here, and the first bolt's gonna come out at this hole, and then come out this hole here. I'm gonna start with our fish wire here and come out our access hole. And for this hole here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the short block with the center hole for that access. And stick our block on there and put it up inside the frame. And then we'll go ahead and attach our bolt to it. Alrighty, and then we'll go ahead and pull that in. We're gonna do the next one here, same thing. Start with our access hole, and fish our wire. Alrighty. And then for this attachment point, we're gonna go ahead and use the longer block for that. Once again, with the center hole. All right, now that we got our block into place, we're just gonna go ahead and put our bolt on our wire here, and then we'll go ahead and fish the whole thing right on through. There we go. Moving on to our passenger side. Uh, on most vehicles, you're gonna find your typical weld nut. Uh, these uh, do not have threads in them, so in your kit, you're gonna go ahead and get a uh, thread cutting bolt. And I can show you where those three are gonna go on our attachment points on the passenger side. All right, we have one here, we have one here, and then one through the side. All right, now that we went ahead and got the under part of the car prepped, we're gonna go ahead and set our hitch into place. Uh, we're gonna align our holes with the holes that I previously showed you. We're gonna go ahead and be using our U-Haul exclusive jack. Uh, this is gonna be very handy with installing our hitch. If you do not have one of these, you're definitely gonna need a second set of hands. So let's go ahead and get it in place. All right, we almost got our hitch into place. The one thing to remember is the bolt that comes through the side here. We're just gonna go ahead and push that back inside the frame so we can get our hitch fully up. Now that we got our carriage blocks into place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull our fish wires off. And we're gonna go ahead and install our conical washer and nut. So we just wanna be careful not to push our hardware back inside the frame. So we're just gonna put a little bit of pressure on it while we start our nut. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here to the one through the side. Once again, we just wanna be careful that we're not pushing our hardware inside the frame. All right. 
All right, now that we're here on the passenger side, we can see that our hitch doesn't quite line up just perfectly with the holes. We're gonna go ahead and use our alignment tool here, and that's gonna go ahead and straighten it out. So let's do that first. All right, now that we went ahead and aligned the holes on the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and use our thread cutting bolts to do that. Uh, we just wanna make sure that this is straight when we do this. Only use your hand tools. You do not wanna use an impact on this. Um, that way it gets nice and straight and tight. All right, we went ahead and just started this by hand. We're gonna go ahead and tighten it down. Uh, and we're just gonna go nice and slow and let those threads cut right in there. Now that we went ahead and got that started, we're just gonna move on to the next. All right, so as we're doing it, the weld nut that's in the car itself does not have threads in it. So this is a special bolt that as we tighten it down, it's actually cutting threads into that weld nut. Go ahead and throw our socket on there and start tightening it down. You want to go nice and slow. That gives the threads a chance to cut nice grooves. All right, now we're back here over on the driver's side. According to the next instruction, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take our exhaust hanger here, and we're actually gonna go ahead and cut off this L90 on this end. Uh, before the hitch went up, this actually went into the frame. Now our hitch is blocking that, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove it from the car and cut it off. We're gonna be using our soapy water and our exhaust plier removal tool. All right, we went ahead and got our uh, exhaust hanger in our vice clamp. We're gonna go ahead and use our cutoff wheel to cut off this 90 degree angle right here. If you don't have one of these at home, a simple hacksaw will work. Let's get to it. All right, now that we went ahead and cut it off, we're gonna go ahead and put it back on the car and we can put up our remaining bolts. Now that we went ahead and cut our end off, just make sure, be careful, it's probably a little hot. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use our blocks and our new bolts that came in our kit. We're gonna go ahead and put this up and then we can attach our exhaust. All right, so we went ahead and installed three different types of hardware in this vehicle for this hitch, so we're gonna have three different torque settings. Make sure you go ahead and follow the manufacturer's specifications. I'm gonna be starting with the M8 bolts with a 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna go ahead and torque that down. All right, we went ahead and torqued the M8 bolts. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the two half inch bolts on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and be using a three quarter inch socket to do so. All right, now that we're done on the driver's side, we moved over here to the passenger side. We're gonna be using our 15 millimeter socket to go ahead and torque it down to the manufacturer's specs. Let's do it. Pull our extension off and final bolt up here on the inside.
All right, now that we went ahead and torqued down all our bolts, we're gonna go ahead and remove our hitch jack here, and then our final step, we'll go ahead and put the exhaust back up. We're gonna go ahead and just use a little bit more soapy water, and we're gonna go ahead and set our hangers back in place. All right, now that we have our hangers all taut, we can go ahead and take our strap off. All right, now that we have our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled the vehicle down on level ground. We're gonna get you some measurements for you. From the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver tube, that's gonna be 14 inches. That's gonna determine what kind of rise or drop you're gonna need for any sort of hitch accessory. From the pinhole to the edge of the fascia here, that's gonna be three and a half inches. And that's gonna determine how far you need to come out for any vertical accessory. I wanna thank you guys for staying with us and watching the video. Hope you have a great day. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.